Greetings friend, entrepreneur, and fellow business builder. I'm marketing master Jim Ackerman, and this is Biz Kaboom's Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads. I'm about to show you a marketing specimen, and you're about to tell me whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly from a marketing effectiveness point of view. Today, let's talk about the almighty Google. Now, we've talked about Google before, and I always think it's interesting that the way that Google advertises itself, you, I mean, you'd think you do, they do it on AdWords, right? And they do, but they also do radio, and they also do direct mail. But their direct mail has changed, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. This is a card I got from Google, and it looks very similar to other cards I've gotten from Google in the past. It's a self-mailer and it uh, has a no, no message at all on the uh, address side. Now, normally, I've been a big proponent of having the same message on one side as on the other side, but what if you have a postcard that has no message on the address side? Actually, I think that works, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. Right here, we're talking about the whole piece, and as you can see, here's the headline. It says, right now, people are looking for businesses just like yours. And then when you open it up, it's interesting. There's the first panel, and you see this little tab sticking out over there. And look what happens when you open it all the way up. That tab folds into, so it stays the same, uh, the same offer showing up right there. See that? Isn't that clever? A little die cut in there. Oh, that's expensive, but Google's doing it. Does it work? Well, I'm not sure, but one thing I can tell you is the offer has changed. They used to give you $100 worth of free AdWords advertising. Now what they give you is get up to, get up to $150 in AdWords credit when you spend $150. That's the piece that remains showing whether you've got to open this far or this far. The question for you is, is that a better offer than $100 worth of free AdWords? And if you were unaware of the fact that they had the previous offer, would this offer be intriguing enough to get you to try AdWords? So, take a look. Take as much time as you want. You can look at it this way. You can look at it this way. You can look at it this way and this way. And then pass judgment on whether you think it's good, bad, or ugly. Come back and I'll pass mine as well. Google, I've already given you a little bit of a hint, suggesting that with no teaser copy whatsoever on the address side, that actually might be a good thing because you can't know what it's about until you flip it over and see the other side. So even if it comes out in the mail this way and you see nothing but this, you're intrigued enough perhaps, especially with it being from Google, to flip it over and take a look at what is on the other side. Headline, right now people are looking for businesses just like yours. Is that a good headline or a bad headline? Well, it is a statement of the obvious. There is an implied benefit, that being there are, you could get your piece of the people who are looking for businesses just like yours, but it's an esta a statement of obvious fact and may not therefore be as compelling as a different headline, and I would be intrigued to know what other headlines they proposed in bringing about this whole piece. Now, as we go to the inside, of course, the offer is the most important piece of the puzzle. They explain about AdWords over here, and when you open it up, they explain more about AdWords uh, uh, and how you can take advantage of this offer, but it's the offer itself that is the most important piece of the pie, and it's a up to $150 of free AdWords credit when you spend $150. So, now you could get up to $300 worth of AdWords for your spend, a value added offer instead of a free trial offer. That's what it was last time, get $100 worth of free AdWords. Now it's spend $150, get $150. Buy one, get one free, value add versus free trial. Um, 
a couple of things to say about this. First of all, it maintains the Google brand and what they've done in the past. It has a very similar look to their ads of the past. Number two, the headline I don't think is as strong as it needs to be to get maximum opens and I wonder if they tested other headlines. The die cut seems to me to be unnecessarily frivolous even though it's Google, even though they have more money arguably than God, this is probably an overkill. It's a die cut for the sake of a die cut. Um, and I think it's not particularly uh, advantageous to the piece, although I do applaud the fact that they got the offer in right up front. Uh, so three panels uh, with a cheat to a fourth one, I suppose you could say. Um, the marketing master can't say this is ugly. I can't say that it's good. I hesitate to say that it's bad, but it's not what it could be and what I might expect from a company that can spend any amount they want on advertising. This one is going to be a bad plus from the marketing master. Be interested to know what you think. Please leave your comments below. Share it with your friends and have a little debate with them and see what they think. Have them share their comments as well. Subscribe to the channel and continue to accumulate your marketing acumen as you raise the bar on your own marketing performance in your quest to get more customers who will pay you more money more often, the fastest, easiest, most cost-effective ways possible. It all happens right here on BizKaboom and Good, Bad, and Ugly Ads.